Good morning. Welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We're on the last day at the 2018 Options Industry Conference. Joining me is Tony Zhang, Head of Product Strategy over Options Play and one of the panelists on the panel that I will be moderating. We're going to focus on innovation in the options industry. It's great to be with you. Thank you for having me. And uh, to tell the audience some of the talking points that we're going to be focusing on. So today, very excited to be on the panel with you. I'm going to be talking about uh, innovations and evolutions of trading technology, and I'm, I'll be providing some color from the retail and financial advisors' perspective. And if you look at that segment of the market, you know their main interaction with the market is really on the trading platform and tool side. So I'll be talking a little bit about the innovations we have with user experience, what we're expecting uh, the option markets to provide in the next uh, few years, um, that type of. Thing. All right. Well, advances to technology really has leveled the playing field for the options retail trader. How does Options Play use technology to enhance that experience? Yeah, so our mission at Options Play is pretty simple. We want to make options as accessible as possible to as many people as possible. And we do that through user experience and education. So one of the things that we identified at Options Play when we started the company five years ago is that the the user experience of option chains wasn't very user friendly. It's kind of like handing you a phone book and saying, everything you need to know is in here, you just have to go and figure it out yourself. Uh, and by the way, everything is written in Greek. So what we realize is that if we just simply ask a question up front, instead of handing you a phone book such as, are you bullish or are you bearish on the stock, we can show you strategies that make sense for the outlook that you're expecting and present it to you in visual and graphs as opposed to numbers and uh, display it in in plain English, if you will, so that it's easier to understand, and this really facilitates the exploration, learning, and ultimately the trading of options. How do you think machine learning and the cloud um, are going to spur more innovation in the options industry going forward? So machine learning and cloud is obviously going to be something that's going to be very uh, useful in this industry going forward. And I think there's no, um, uh, I think it's really important for us to, at this point, not really predict where it's going to go, but more importantly, understand how uh, machine learning is applied these days, because I see that there's a lot of people talking about machine learning uh, without really truly understanding what the power of it is and we see a lot of people spinning their wheels because machine learning at this point is really good at what we call classification problems so it's really good at certain types of problems and not very good at other types of problems so once we understand this we, it becomes easier for us to understand what types of problems can be solved by machine learning so right now I actually think some of the things that we address at this conference about liquidity and transparency mm -hmm. these are the types of problems that are better suited for machine learning as opposed to things like alpha generation which is where a lot of people tend to focus their their attention on with respect to machine Machine All right. Thank you very much for joining us as always. And thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Melandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.